deal with these hour long episodes? <laughs> What's the deal with these hour long episodes, guys? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> no, some of you might be wondering like what on earth's going on. We're trying to catch up to real time. So we've fallen a little bit behind. Elena's been working very, very hard editing and it's you know, it's it's a lot of work for us and not many episodes, but we want to catch up to real time. We hope that you enjoy the hour long episodes. New Zealand part two, enjoy guys. New Zealand part two. Merry Christmas everyone. I was gonna open your hatch. Oh and really? film and go, Merry Christmas, I cappuccino. <laughs> and wake you up, but you're already up. Yeah, Riley's already been to the gym this morning and I just woke up. It's pretty rare, isn't it? It is very rare. I, I like it. I was too excited. Now, I already know what Riley got me for Christmas because it's actually impossible to hide anything. No, on you don't. Boat. I'm getting you another present. Here. Riley said he has. Really? You got me another present? Yeah. I'll, I'll show you my present that I know about. I got a new guitar! It's so beautiful. It's a Taylor guitar. You're the best. Wait, oh my gosh, there is more. <laughs> do you remember do you remember saying them? Yes. He bought this for me in, in where was it? Rarotonga. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you are my favourite person in the world. Thank you. Oh bro. The next morning, we drove to Auckland to pick up Riley's little brother Danny, who came to visit us for a few weeks. <laughs> Smoking a ciggy. We also picked up JP, which we forgot to film, so here's a video of a cute little duck when we got home. JP wanted to come along for another sailing adventure and to mainly help us out with some video editing stuff. Oh, well then. Bit of big brother advice here. <laughs> by and then number three. <laughs> On the slumber party couch. Hopefully, by the end of New Year's resolutions. Uh, by Daniel Yuri Dollard Nusa. By the end of this journey, I will have quit smoking. Just waiting for JP to get home. He's gone for a burn on the tender to get a photo. And we're all going to watch a movie in the lounge. Like the old times. Is that, is that good? How's your dinghy drive, JP? Good. I think I may have hit a fish or something. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've hit a stingray oh. once. It was really sad. It was a manta ray. It was a manta ray. I'll never forget it. It's a big difference. <laughs> she feels so bad about that. I try to bring it up once a week. I do. I killed, <laughs> I killed a manta ray. No, you didn't kill it. You bumped into it. We're about to watch uh, Before the, the Flood with Leonardo in it. I'm really excited. <laughs> Everyone can have a date ball. Date ball. Date and coconut. JP's already got a date, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> Date ball? No, thank you. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, let's get this party started. Somebody hit the lights. I saw on... Um... Rouse, mm. what did you think of Before the Flood? I thought that it may have been cold and tired. No, come on. Danny, what do you think of Before the Flood? I thought the um, the scale of environmental devastation was put really clearly mm -hmm. um, in a way that is not often done. You know, it's talked about very generally sometimes, but it's uh, you know it puts it into real concrete terms about the the devastating effect it will have on a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, and quickly. Anything else? Not for now. <laughs> Go to bed. Uh, it's a bit late. Yeah. <laughs> Climate change is real, people. You have to go talk to the Pope. Yes, go talk to the Pope. The Pope will sort you out. Yeah. Well, it's New Year's Eve. The house is a mess. I just went to town. We are, well, I'm cleaning the house. Riley's grabbing a coffee with Danny. JP's in town um, on the internet. 
and I need to upload a movie and then once I've done that we can go and anchor at the front of Pi here and start celebrating. I think I think we'll start at about 12. Maybe, we'll see. Anyway, I'm really excited, it's New Year's Eve. I'm so excited <laughs> and I just can't hide it. You are, aren't you? Well, darling, if you lose control, what I'm will you do? I'm gonna have to captain the boat. What will you do to me? <laughs> We changed plans on where we were going to anchor for the night. We decided on Russell because apparently the Duke of Marlborough Hotel goes off on New Year's Eve and it's about as excited as the Bay of Islands will get. It appeared that it was quite a popular place for cruisers too. You're talking about predictability, right? When I'm at a thousand feet, I can completely predict what is going to happen to the plane for yeah. the next minute. So we got our pals, Hugo and Georgia, uh, are about to raft up with us. So I need to put fenders out right now, right now. Some good friends we had met in New Zealand, Georgia and Hugo, motored over in their fishing boat, Notorious, to raft up with us for the day. Bay of Islands is far too busy. So this is Hugo and Georgia. Hi. From? New Zealand. Auckland. Bangaday. Are you sure it's not Slash. Plymouth? Wait, where's that place? New it's the Plymouth. boringest place no. on earth. New Plymouth. Plymouth. New Plymouth. New Plymouth. New Plymouth. New Plymouth. Plymouth. Second, second Tell Plymouth. everyone how you say Plymouth, Alana. I've said Plymouth <laughs> once before in a video. <laughs> I apologise. <laughs> we need a doctor. Yeah, of JP's hurt. Yeah. He's bleeding. We're he here. needs DOS band aids. No, we give me a few minutes. I need to push more blood out. <laughs> and I was there, and it's really nice there, but the, the rocks are sharp. Man. Oh my gosh, that's a serious boo boo. No, it isn't. It There's is. There's just a bit of meat there. Aww. I don't New Year's resolution. <laughs> Where's I did not. I did. Uh... Holy Santa. <laughs> Look at that! All I was, I was sitting on the boat. I was nothing at all, nothing out of the ordinary, no swimming. It wasn't that sunny. I don't know what happened. No one warned me. I, bl I blame other people. I, I definitely blame other people. Done Don't do that. You should vlog high up. There we go. That's a better angle. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> We're running late for the fireworks. Quick, we gotta get home. We're running very, very late. <laughs> I see! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, we made it! What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? The Jefferson's sinking. Yeah, Jefferson. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, we're so close! Oh! That's so we didn't get back to the mothership in time for the fireworks. We were stuck dead in the water. We all sort of stopped what we were doing and just really soaked in this moment. It was um, something that I'll remember for a long time. What's new pussycat? 
whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, Danny and I are on a mission to find unhealthy food because these guys are just way too healthy and I think it's been too long. Good, so we, good we found some. Yeah, we found that. They're not just right. Scottish almonds, they've got chocolate all around them. Yeah. All right, Delicious. and I have some of this which I've been sort of hiding. And Danny did get a chocolate this morning, which is missing. So Show him the hidden chocolate. Where's my chocolate bar? Show him the hidden chocolate. See, this is how desperate we are for chocolate. So, up here, this used to be a light right there. Oh, it's all molten. Ugh. Is it? That's a piece of chocolate. So we'll keep you guys updated on the, uh, the chocolate situation. <laughs> Flagstaff Hill this morning because <sighs> I had a bit too much fun yesterday. <sighs> yeah, definitely. I'm so unfit this morning. <clears throat> By the way, Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope 2017 is the best year yet and it's full of love um, and adventure, good health and wealth, and yeah. Make the most of it. Alright, I'm heading home now. It's getting really hot. We pulled ourselves together this morning and we are going to Orapuka Puka Island. Is that how you say it? Orapuka Puka? I think so. anywhere I'm still here big wake oh my gosh look at the boat behind us it must be so heavy What are you guys up to? <laughs> Did you put shampoo on, Danny? <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. You alright? <laughs> Stop laughing, Elena. Very annoying. He just looks so funny. <laughs> totally helpless. Okay, so you're going spear fishing? Uh, I'm going to attempt to. Cool. That'll go between your legs. Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Enjoy. So we just moved spots because Rowley took apart the outboard. Oh yeah, the outboard's broken again, guys. Uh, it just keeps wanting to stall when you go slow. So you have to go really fast everywhere and it's not very safe. It does need to do that now. So yeah, it doesn't do that now, Riley just said. Um, so what's the story of ours? Oh, and here's where we are. We're way closer to Hugo and George's boat, which isn't the worst thing ever. They are right there. I don't have a screwdriver that'll fit in there to pull out that injector, but I've, I've got that injector out. We could ask Hugo. 
Yeah. Yeah or no? Yeah, we'll just take the tender over there. Yeah, we'll just take the tender. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah. All right. Well, here is Skeletor. Gross. Hey, I thought you were rally burning around in the tender. Oh. He's, he's burnt off. No, he's just, what's he doing? Uh, he's just uh, taking the top off. He's uh, oh, he's, yeah. he's thing. He's here. dissected it. Uh, and at the moment, I'm going to say fixed yeah. it, but I'm not too sure. Chef work going on? Yeah, making a salad. We're going over to Georgia and here goes for dinner. Sounds lovely. I'm running late. We've got 20 minutes and the rice isn't even done. Well, <clears throat> it wasn't all your fault, was it? No. This bad boy decided to turn itself off. This is a great little setup. This is what it should have been like the other day. Oh no. Drive through, what do we owe you? Swordfish on arrival. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, inform us what's happening. Okay. Wait, no way. We're gonna try. I think we can yeah. It'll make itself known in a minute. We're gonna smash it. Well, here goes the man. We don't He's have gonna a smash it. Oh. We don't have we don't have a corkscrew, we left it on the boat and we can't be bothered going back and sort of because the tender's broken as well, we might not get Go, back. go, so... go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Oh, it's getting close to the water. It needs to be sharper, mate. You needed a uh, chemically sharpened hook. <laughs> what if you went all It's coming. Way? He's got it, he's got it. Uh, oh, oh. I think some twisting slash I'm gonna twist the bar. Pulling action. Yeah. Mm. Oh yes, it's gonna. You're gonna get it. I have faith. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yes. Yes. Good. <laughs> Never has there been a more satisfactory. <laughs> 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 All right. Come on. Do it again, that was a massive job. It was, right? Wait, look in my camera, I can point. There. Not all of us can do oh, that. Oh, the dolphin. Eek, eek, eek. <laughs> keep going, keep going. They're coming. Someone get in the water. They're coming. Oh! <laughs> keep going, Georgia. They love you. Stand up on you. Oh my god, I'm actually calling. No, 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 no. no. Stand up. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. I don't know where to look. Oh, over here. They're chasing oh fish. Here you go, jump down. <laughs> Sorry. No, either. Oh. On his own boat, so it's rough. Look at the. Oh. Oh, they're massive. How do you? Oh. Look at them. I love him. <laughs> You thing. got that Still one camera. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Good hunt, Morgan. Good morning. <laughs> Vagabond Yacht School starts today. <laughs> Back of the tender goes towards the mast, All right. and it just fits in there. Yeah. We're leaving today. We're going to Thangamumu. Um, we're expecting 20 knots from the southeast, which isn't too good, but I think it's going to be a good day. What do you think, Joe Pizzle? I'm excited. Still half asleep, but I'm excited. <laughs> We got Georgia on board, as you've seen, because uh, she's never been sailing before, so that'll be cool. And this hat, this hat is what Jeff got us. It's from the yacht club, so shout out to the yacht club. And Jeff, hey Jeff.
sails up around islands where there's, you know, it's very geographical, so on the other side we'll get wind acceleration around and over and through valleys and stuff. And uh, we'll probably get smacked at some stage by a few wind bullets, as they've been described to me. Taking a reeve. <laughs> we got like five boats to dodge here. He's there, he's got five, let's say six, and five is eleven. Riley's hoping to uh, beat Hugo. Twelve nautical miles he's got, which I think he'll do in half an hour. And we've got <laughs> to get our bloody skates on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's gonna beat us. He is, he's gonna beat us. We're going at four. We're gonna have to throw some more sail out. We need to go racing mode. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, beat us. Devastated. It's just teasing us now. Yeah. One reason of many why Fungamumu is quite a popular sailing destination is because on the beach somewhere around here lies the remains of an old whaling station that was used in the 1800s and early 1900s. They were the only whaling station in the world that caught whales with nets and it was Northland's longest running and most successful station. We plan to check out the historical remains the following morning. You're also allowed to light some fires on the beaches here and there's some awesome hikes around the place. We've got squash and asparagus and rice and friends. Ooh, really? That'll be nice. Here you go, did a little shop for us. Welcome. Thank you. All right, let's eat. We are going to the beach to light a fire this evening with Georgia and Hugo. Uh, they've got some fish and we've got some veggies and a lovely salad and the guitar. I'm gonna strum a few tunes. I'm very excited. Hmm. The boys have already left us. They had to do a trip because we've got so much stuff. Notorious have got the spot. If only we could go in the shallow. Oh, they bring the beanbags to the beach. Hells yeah. Fire! Here we go. Oh. Come on baby, light my fire. Oh, <clears throat> Trying to set the world on fire. We have ignition.
kept our word and we were up early to check out the old whaling station and to try hike that insanely beautiful lighthouse we saw on the sail here. I thought that was a boat ramp, but it's actually a whale sliding ramp. Ooh, that's like, that's really bad. <laughs> Guys. After the whales are brought ashore and winched up the slip, factory workers begin processing the massive carcasses. The blubber, the fatty layer under the skin, is then minced and boiled down into oil and the meat and bones are slowly cooked in concrete vats. The vats inside the factory building can still be seen today. Ooh. I'm not joking. This is my breath at the moment. It's so, so steep. Oh. Oh, still the leader of the pack. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Oh. Oh. This is part of what makes me. Maybe like four or five bays around. There's a place called Metapuri. Oh, Can cool. everyone explain what's just happened? <laughs> so it said we've got she our nev up. Nevionics out. <laughs> and we're, it says two, and, two hours, 15 minutes to the Cape Brett track, not the Cape Brett lighthouse. Yeah. Which we thought we were going to. And then it's four hours from there. So it's going to be a 12 hour and 30 minute day if we were to do it, which we're definitely not. We're going back to the beach for a swim. Yeah, I agree. Let's do that. <laughs> Thanks for filming. Mm -hmm. oh, dying. That was a good walk though. So by the vlog. Yeah, I had to look back on a video that I took of the sign earlier. <laughs> Otherwise we would have kept walking. Oh, Alright, so, well let's have some smoko then. Yeah. Hey. What's the time? <laughs> Besides Danny's rap music blasting on the stereos. He's cooking dinner so it's alright. Uh, this has been a very peaceful afternoon. Just been reading my book out here. And oh, this is a really nice anchorage. It's just glassy as. What have you made, Danny? Uh, Something smells fishy. <laughs> it's definitely fish. Hey guys. So we're packing up the vagabond this morning and we're heading off, we're going south. We're not sure where. It's always so messy. Oh, there's a little crab. Hello, little crab. Falafel for lunch, with salad and tahini and hummus and veggie sticks. Gonna be good. There's a shark. Look at it. Look at its fin. It's just cruising on by. What can you report? Well, I'd like to be going a little faster, but these conditions are very relaxed and pleasant. So, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. Which I didn't. Is pretty good. Okay. That's a great rating. Danny, how What about the conditions, like? babe? Did I not answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> the conditions are very calm. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> it's only it's blowing at 6 knots. So we had up to 9 before, which pushed, pushed us up to 5 knots, but we're back to 3.5 now. And we're going quite slowly. Indeedy. But. I've got nowhere to be. Well, I wouldn't if Danny hadn't used all of our water. Did not use the water. Danny likes to shower. I... No, he doesn't he like to shower. He just showers like to... three times a day. No. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> no. It was no. a group effort. We all used up all the water. All the dishes I was washing. Hair last night. You did wash your hair. It's very now nice. Now I have to go to a marina to fill up. Not too bad, not the worst thing in the world. We could use the water maker to make a little bit, but we've used 400 litres. But, but you've got to leak 
You've definitely got a leak somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, despite the fact that we have no water on board, uh, we've just decided to go to Poor Nights. We had one is... beer and got a bit creative. Yeah. We've got some backup water in a container on the side of the boat. We're just going to have to use that. Should be good. I love that. Last minute decision. Go team. So, this is Poor Nights over here and we have picked this anchorage, Mororo Bay, uh, because tonight at 2am the wind's going to swing around to the south and we will be very sheltered in here. It's a rocky bottom, which we're not too happy about, but... And I just read that apparently Poor Nights has the largest underwater cave in the world, which I'm struggling to believe. <laughs> I'm really struggling to believe, but we're going to suss it out. Everywhere I go, there's the largest something or the craziest something or other, but I have heard this cave is pretty amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. This is Four Nights. We are going right there. More your temperature. She's getting glassy. And like spam. Yo. Mm. 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 No we just want to get it all in the bag, basically. So you just... So which one do you pull? I'll come and help you. That's what I'll do. So I haven't seen pictures of Poor Nights and I really had no idea what to expect. We've only heard word from other sailors that it was pretty awesome. And for some reason, in my head, I imagined that these islands would be covered in palm trees and sandy, which is ridiculous because this is not... We're not in the tropics here, this is New Zealand. <laughs> um, so I'm a little surprised to see a gigantic rock in front of me. It looks a lot like Redonda, the island we went to in the Caribbean. This is really weird. And it's freezing cold, it's really cold. Poor Nights consists of two large islands with a smaller group of islets between the two. They have been uninhabited since the 1820s. This place is a nature and marine reserve with a few very popular underwater diving spots. around a rock but we're not going anywhere. What about how beautiful this is? <laughs> Did you get that part? Oh you can just say that Riley. How beautiful is this? This place? is 10 out of 10 beautiful. <laughs> uh, maybe 11. I'm that's just going that's a good rating. I'm blown away. How was the how was the swimming? Yeah the swimming was nice the viz wasn't a hundred percent um it was probably about 10 meters but that's because the sun went behind the clouds. And coral? The most beautiful coral I've ever seen. The most beautiful colours. Um, vivid colours. I would describe them as. <laughs> very, very good description. Very, iridescent. Very orangey oranges. Well then we should all go for a snorkel tomorrow. There's so many jellyfish in the water. That's crazy. Going in.
blowing hard this morning out into the night. Now that chance is gone. Sighs on fingers kill the light. Now our chance is gone. That's the last thing we have to do before we set sail. So we'll turn, I'll tighten this up, then we'll turn the engines on. Sounds good. Anchor's coming up, fingers crossed she doesn't get stuck. Hoisted the main, we got 16 knots of wind. It's only going to pick up more around this corner. We were off to a little town called Tutakaka, only a few hours sail away. Last night the wind had swung further southeast than was predicted, so we were up all night with the rocking of the swell. We went to find shelter and to catch up on some sleep. I love this. I absolutely love it. I love being kept up all night. I love waking up on a rocky coastline. I love setting sail and wondering if you've got too much out. Birds everywhere. We would actually be tacking all day. All day. It's just not going to happen. Did you get much sleep? Zero. Me too. A little bit. What about you, Danny? I got, I got more sleep than you guys, but I don't know. Not feeling too well. Yeah. So I'm fatigued. Yeah. I say we all get off the boat and go out for lunch. What do you reckon? Go get fat burgers. Burgers are roll home. Yeah. <laughs> Town shoes are on. Everyone's asleep on the boat, so we're going to town to see what we can find. Can I join in? You just vlogged that all by yourself. I did. We're going to town. Hooray. We got a good spot in the anchorage. Look at that. Good sleep for everyone tonight. Well, the boys are already sleeping. <laughs> they probably won't sleep tonight, actually. Not me. No. Go, hammer it. Whoa. I lost my hat. This is the marina. The Tutu Carrara. Wait, how do you say the name of this place again? Wow. It looks stunned. Does. Well, there's really not much to town. There's a few restaurants and a general store. With pies. With pies. So we've decided to go for a walk. We actually just chatted to this guy and he said that about the only thing to do here is to walk to the lighthouse. So we're going to attempt that. I think it's like half an hour away. But we've still got plenty of daylight. He actually said well, you can walk up the lighthouse and shit, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did it. This, this is the lighthouse. Pretty unimpressive. No, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. That is a big drop. Tell me about your crazy idea. Well, after the trip to from Tonga down to New Zealand, 
<clears throat> if I ever want to make Elena cry, I tell her that <laughs> I want to sail around the world solo, like the Vendee Globe or something like that. Just in, just in my boat, not particularly fast, but not touching land. You know, I, get, I don't know, I guess it'd take me 120 days or something. Why do you want to do it? I just think that I could. I enjoyed the Tonga one. I reckon that cat would be good for it. I need to do a proper crossing in it first. I'd want it like, to me, the good thing about that Tonga to New Zealand solo sail was the filming it every day and getting ready to like make the videos at home. It kept me busy, kept me, it was kind of social, even though there was no one there, it felt like I was communicating with people. Like you had purpose? Yeah. And like I was talking to a camera who were, I knew that the people on the other side of that were going to be listening to me, just not right away. Well, that's cool. I think you could do it too, but I'd be worried sick. I know. My shoes are nearly broken. I was not prepared for this walk. It's a beautiful view. <laughs> Apart from that lighthouse, I wanted to diss the lighthouse. Yeah, what's with that? <laughs> Got the boys working hard here. Now this is where things get confusing. There's a lot of people jumping on and off the boat in a short amount of time. Elena went with Georgia North to fetch our car from where we left it in the Bay of Islands. JP had gone home for some family stuff and Hugo was around the place so he offered to jump on board and help myself and Danny sail down to our next destination, Fungaray, which is about 35 nautical miles. Coming down. So we've uh, had a bit of a jam in one of the runners for the mainsail. Things have fallen out. The Allen keys are well and truly in operation. Special tool. It's been used. It's a serious job. So this shot is not uh, exactly doing justice how how sideways we're going. <laughs> Get me in the back. That's uh, it is a struggle to sit up. So we're just heading down to Fungaray. We've just got eight knots. Well done, Hugo. We're just having a bit of a play. Uh, I'm letting Hugo have a bit of a steer because we're on the far side of the island. The sea stay is very calm, but the wind's quite powerful so we're just having a bit of a muck around. Yep. We're booked in to get a haul out so we decided that we could take Hugo for a bit of a sail down the bunker road. The girls are going to pick up the car. Sounds good. How's it feel to uh to sail a yacht? It's very different and very slow compared to my <laughs> boat. But it's nice. Very slow. <laughs> A lot quieter. It is a lot, a lot quieter. Yeah, you can hear the sea and the wind generator. We had to get a haul out because there's been a big problem with fan worms in some parts of New Zealand. They don't want it to spread to other areas, one of those being Fungaray. So we had to get hauled out of the water and provide a certificate to the marina proving that we had a clean bump. Well, if they come up on these, it's just going to snap them off, break everything. On the there's a depth sounder and a paddle wheel, and I don't have a blank for them. And the markings are wrong on the side of the boat, I believe. 
With the new install of the BNG forward facing sonar and paddle wheel in Tahiti, we were concerned the crane slings would damage the equipment. So into the filthy effluent and refinery runoff I went. Yummy. Where's the tank? That's we're, we're straddling uh, that tank now. Where's the... Um, Water? Water's there. Yeah. I think we'll stay on the mark, eh? Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Okay. Let me have a look at the back. Yep. After a quick clean, the girls had found us. I'm just gonna get, them, gonna get the lads to spray me off with their gun. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my foot on some mollusks. I traded Hugo for Elena and we were headed on our way to the town basin marina. Going through the bridge. Uh -huh. That was easy. Very windy this afternoon. Here we go. This is our spot. Gotta put the camera down. Oh. We're gonna go check out Fungare. Going for a walk. Should we go to the clock museum? I really can't I know, think of anything boring. Oh. <laughs> Cheers to your last night, Danny. <laughs> this food's amazing. I'm not sure everyone's going to agree with you there, Elena. It's really good. <laughs> well, there's nothing going on in town, so we're going to watch a movie. Oh, passengers, I really want to see this. Great wall. Nah. Mm, too extreme. No way. In fact, I've seen the preview to that and it looks like the worst movie ever. I think the quote on that video was like, cars and babes. That's cute. Can we get them on the cat? Not blue. Not blue ones. I want white. So we're just hanging out here on the boat and Riley's friends Sammy and Jimmy, um, they're coming uh, to visit us in a few days. So we're just checking the weather and there's something seriously hectic going on. They arrive on Sunday and I was like, oh, I'll just check the weather. And this is what's going on. <laughs> Can you see that? Bang. Bang all those da those dark reds are the bad ones. So that's forty seven knots. Oh my god! Where where the green dot is at the moment? Yeah, we're up here in Fungarei. Bang! Mmm, scary. Bang! <laughs> so we don't know what our sail plans are as of yet. We need to be responsible. S sorry, and Sam smart. and Jim. Yeah, it's a real shame. You hate to do that when I think we'll friends just come all this way to visit. We we'll just sit around on the boat drinking. I think. Doing this all night. I'll be able to. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's I've going, got geez, I'm glad I'm so not out there. So much work Ooh. to do. I'm not kidding. Like, I've been working on the laptop every single day for hours and hours. My eyes are hurting. And it's... I've been fishing. Rally went on a fishing trip. Got two miles.
Hugo's boat was leaking coolant and in a stunning display of ingenuity he was refilling it using the only thing at hand which was the kettle. How you going Riley? Yeah good, I'm pretty excited! It's evil, man. Oh, I got a boat up in there, thing, man. He's a frisky little bugger. We should jump. Hey, Ben, try not to swear because they got to put it on YouTube. Oh, right. <laughs> How the f am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Here we are. Holy shamoly! Stri Striped marlin fishing out the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. It's cool, man. Look at that hook. Here you go. Oh, yeah, ain't going nowhere. Look at the other one. Look at that, bro. That's it, he's out. Well, it was quiet early, and then uh, hooked up with this little fella. Come on, let's go and get the old one. And I'm absolutely stoked. All right, send them away. Off he goes. Healthy airs. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sweet airs. It's awesome before, down the back, Steve's like, we hadn't had a bite all day, and then we hooked up, and as we, as you were reversing down on it, you go, and he's like, oh, jeez, I love marlin fish. <laughs> That's Steve down the back there. What do you reckon, Steve? Loving it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Big year in state. The boys lost their jolly bun. We tagged and released this blue marlin at well over 200 kilos and the guys on board were just going absolutely bananas. It was so good to see how just excited and amped they all were. It was really good. Um, but I'm teaching Riley how to edit soon so he'll be able to help me. But no, he has been doing a lot of work as well, behind the scenes stuff, like organising the new boat, the new boat launch party, um, you know, fixing lots of things on this boat, organising what we're going to do with this lovely old Vagabond and the list goes on. He did the washing for me today too and he cleared my old laptop and yeah. Reformatted it. You've Thank got you. to decouple it, it says, okay. and then erase. I don't want to know. There's certain buttons that you can and can't push. Right. Very... Right. Technical. Bye well, buddy. Um... Bye for now. If you 
you've made it this far, then congratulations. That's a pretty long haul. You might have had one or two bites at it, maybe some popcorn in the middle, a bit of an interlude. A few beers. A couple of beers, maybe. Um, I wanted to ask you if you have made it this far, which you must have if you're looking at me now, um, what do you think about catching those marlin? Like, catch and release, yeah, it's a, it's a sport. We're tagging them, which is good. They're not really, they're not in danger, marlin. Like, they're fairly um, prolific throughout all, like, all the world. They're not endangered anywhere, as far as I know, but if I'm wrong, please let me know. You pull them up, they're quite stressed. Are they getting eaten by sharks? Love to hear just the general opinion. Is that like an awful thing to be doing? Should we be, if we're catching them, and there is a lot of them, should we be eating them? Should we be letting them go? Should we not be doing it all? Um, love to hear from the vegetarians and vegans. Love to hear from any experts, marine biologists, etc. And I would also love to hear from fishermen and just the general opinion as well. Just drop that in the comment section below and I'll get right on the job. Thank you. Thanks for watching.